Hello, my name is Derek McCann, and in this brief video, I'd like to answer one of the most frequent questions we get from potential partners, and that is, what makes Genos different? So let me drop into some slides here and give you a quick walkthrough to show you exactly what sets us apart from other vendors in the emotional intelligence space. The first thing, and I think this is really important to, to, to note, is that you're not the first person to have ever asked that question. Uh, we have more than 1,500 partners worldwide, coaches, trainers, consultants, and other service providers who blend what we do into what they do. So they use our assessments and our training offering to enhance theirs. So at some stage, they've all asked the same question, and happily, uh, we've been able to satisfy them with the, the response that we give, and I hope we're going to be able to satisfy you just as comprehensively. First thing I want to tell you is that Genos was born on the campus of Swinburne University. And the main benefit of that, and the main reason we've remained a Swinburne University uh, research partner, is that it gives us access to enormous resources for research. So what you're going to find when you go researching into the background of the Genos assessments is that nobody has more peer-reviewed research done on the technology and the science behind our products. You're not intended to be able to read this slide, not really. It's just a listing of all the names of the articles that have been published in peer-reviewed technical journals or book chapters that talk about the science behind the Genos assessment. Nobody is more widely published than Genos. So that's the first thing. Second thing is our model. Now, in this session, I don't plan to walk in detail through every nuance of the model. Instead, I want to give you a feeling for the philosophy and where we come from. So you're looking at the Genos model here, which consists of six scales. Self-awareness, awareness of others, authenticity, emotional reasoning, self-management, and inspiring performance. Now, let me tell you that, for example, the self-awareness uh, measure is a measure of how aware you are seen to be of your emotions and how they affect the decisions you make, the behavior you display, and the way you turn up in general. And this is a really important aspect to the Genos model. We are all about measuring how you show up, because how you show up is what impacts other people. Notice around the outside of the ring, or the outside of the model, that we have a gray ring. And we refer to that gray ring as the productive being states ring. So you notice at the high end of self-awareness, we've got present. High end of awareness of others, we've got empathetic. Then you've got genuine, you've got expansive, resilient, and empowering. So basically, when you show up in a way that demonstrates to others that you are uh, aware or self-aware, well, then the impression they get from you is that you're present. At the other end of the scale, you'll see the, the, the uh, white inner ring, we have the unproductive being states. And when you show up in a way, for example, that you are not apparently terribly self-aware, well, then you're seen as being disconnected. When you don't show great awareness of others, you're seen as being insensitive and so on and so forth. So this is a really important aspect of the Genos model. We specifically measure how you show up how you are seen to behave in the workplace. We're not measuring abilities. We're not measuring capacity. We're not measuring competencies. We're actually measuring exactly what do people see you display as behavior in the workplace day to day, and we're able to feed back to you and tell you to what extent are you seen as being emotional intelligent or emotionally intelligent underneath uh, all of these uh, six settings. So, that is a critical difference between ourselves and pretty much everybody else out there. We're really directly measuring how do you show up. And um, uh, that's really useful because the way you make people feel has a dramatic impact on the extent to which they engage with you. Maya Angelou had it absolutely right. They'll forget what you said, they'll forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Now, if you want to go through an exercise where you really internalize the way this uh, model works, well then I'm gonna put up below um, uh, a URL, uh, an address that you can uh, go to, where you can do a quick 15 minute exercise and get an insight into exactly how the model measures how you make people feel. But uh, enough to say that that's directly what we measure in this model for now. The assessment itself has six scales. 
Each of the six scales has seven items, and each of those items is an emotionally intelligent workplace behavior. Now, that's critical. These are all demonstrable, measurable workplace behaviors. When you demonstrate the seven workplace behaviors under the self-awareness scale, you're seen as being highly self-aware. On those days when you don't demonstrate them, you're seen as being disconnected. So it's really measuring how do you, in the main, show up. It is specifically looking at how often you demonstrate those behaviors. So there are going to be some of those behaviors you demonstrate a lot of the time, and our advice is going to be, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. But there are going to be some of those behaviors that are in the blind spot uh, that you don't demonstrate as often as people would like you to. And so we, our recommendation to you from the assessment is going to be, see what you can do to raise the volume of those particular behaviors. Now, again, in red here, and I'm sorry to, to labor the point, but we're really about how you show up, directly measuring how you make other people feel. Now, in our world, assessments are only useful if they get people to take action to improve what they do. So our entire report suite is based around providing actionable coaching consulting and training information that will help a candidate move things forward, make some positive changes. So, so let, me, let me walk you just very quickly. I'm not going to go into this in a huge amount of depth, but let me just talk to you. Let's say on the self-awareness scale, here are three of the behaviors that are on the self-awareness scale. And we ask um, somebody, hey, um, to what extent does Derek demonstrate awareness of the way he feels? To what extent does he demonstrate awareness of the impact uh, that his emotions can have on his thinking? and so on. Now, here's what we do when we assess people. First thing we do with each of these 42 items is we say, how important is that? So if you can imagine, imagine one of the people that works for you or works with you is completing an assessment on you, and the first thing we say to them is, how important is it that Derek demonstrates awareness of the way he feels? Now that's really important, because for all of the people to feed back on you, we ask them, what do you expect? That's unique. Nobody else does that. And they will rate each of those 42 items on a scale that runs from not at all important up to highly important. So now what we've got for each person who completes this feedback on you is a picture of where they would like you to be, how they'd like you to show up. And believe me, what you're going to see is your boss expects something different to your direct reports, to your peers, to your clients, and other people that might be feeding back. So that's the first thing. And then we say to them, and how does he demonstrate that behavior? How well? Does he demonstrate it an awful lot less than uh, other people, or does he demonstrate it an awful lot more, or is it somewhere in between? So on one hand, we've said, what do you expect? On the other hand, we say, what are you seeing? And we, when we feed that back, are going to feed back and say, here are the gaps. Here are the gaps between people's expectation and what they're actually seeing. And not only do we present it in this sort of overview, like that scale at the top is all of the seven items in the self-awareness scale, but we provide that information back item by item. So I want you to imagine you're dealing with a candidate, you're dealing with one of your, your uh, coaches or, or one of your clients' people, and you're feeding back the report, and you're trying to get them into action. You're trying to show them ways that they could be more effective. Item by item, we're going to tell you to what extent that these people, let's imagine their direct reports, say this was important. And here you can see that they said it was a 4.4. So it's somewhere between important and very important. And how did they see you demonstrate? And they said 3.2, a little bit more than the average, kind of more than uh, um, average or typical, and a little bit in the direction of more than others, but, but much lower than they expected. And then we feed back the difference. Now, notice the way we feed back the difference. When you're looking at a page that has uh, 22, 21 of these uh, items, we want you to be able to see immediately where should your eye go to. When the gap is a large one, well, then it'll show in red as it does here. When it's smaller, it'll show in yellow. And when it's green, it means that the gap is hardly there at all. So essentially, the advice we're going to give is, hey, whatever, wherever you're getting the green, those people are seeing exactly what they want. Wherever you're getting the yellow, they're not seeing quite what they want, and you might want to consider looking at whether you could turn up the volume on that behavior. Where they're seeing the red, they're saying, hey, there's a dramatic misalignment, a dramatic disconnect. So you're getting that for every one of the 42 items. Pretty unique already. Let me give you one other thing. 
The other thing that we do is we have a benchmark. And what you're looking at in this box that I just highlighted, let me unhighlight it and then highlight it again in that box there, is uh, the range of scores that's typical of the population who complete this assessment. So if your score comes up short of that box, you're saying that your score less than is typical or less than is average um, uh, on this particular item or this particular group. And so we give you item by item, here you can see you scored below uh, the, uh, what is typical of people completing this assessment. On the next one, you can see that side to side, so you were actually inside that average box. And then here <coughs> we got a, an example of where you were above that standard. So on one side, remember, you've got what do the internal audience, your, your boss, your, your clients, your direct reports, your peers, what do they expect and how are you showing up? What are the differences? And on the other side, you're getting <coughs> how do you compare to the world at large? Now, with that as a base, our entire report is built around helping you get the candidate into action. Look at the way the reds scream off this page. Look at the way the greens screen off this page. When your eye goes to this page, you know exactly where you should be focusing. And when you go into each of those individual items, they're individual behaviors. If people are not seeing them, it's a question of, is it because I'm not demonstrating them or because I have to slightly turn up the volume on them? And the entire report is built around helping you get into action. Our coaching approach, which we train in the certification, trains you how to help candidates to get insights, which they note directly in the report, to design actions, which they note directly into the report, and to sell themselves on the benefit of taking those actions. Because, because once again, we don't see from a philosophical point of view what the point is in putting somebody through an assessment unless you're going to get them to do something different as a result of that. Uh, in supporting that whole philosophy, we also produce for everybody who goes through the assessment, we produce this development tips workbook. And the development tips workbook is kind of a dictionary of ideas key to each of those 42 behaviors that's designed to give you and your, your candidate ideas on actions they can take to raise their game in each of those uh, 42 areas. So we're very, very focused on action and helping people into action. Something else I want to tell you that's absolutely and completely and utterly unique. You may be aware, and if you're not, let me tell you, that uh, more than 50% of the scores that people give on employee engagement surveys come from the relationship they have with their direct manager. Well, we've built uh, an employee engagement survey directly into our emotional intelligence suite. So I want you to imagine this. <clears throat> a candidate, let's say he's a team leader, is going through an EI assessment. And as part of that assessment, you're asking his direct reports, his peers and his boss to feed back on him. If you switch on this option, well, his direct reports don't just feed back on his emotional intelligence, but they answer some additional questions that give you an insight into specifically how are his people engaged with them. So on the one side, you've got how is this person showing up to his direct reports, and then how is that working for them? Nobody else gives you those two key pieces of information in one single sitting assessment. The other thing that makes it kind of unique is our approach to certification. Normally speaking, you would probably have expected that the um, we designed the way we coach back our reports after we design reports. In actual fact, we designed the coaching approach first, and then we designed our reports to fit it. And we use a specific eight-step coaching approach to feeding back reports to get people into action. And that's mainly what we teach during the two days of the Genos certification program. In the first couple of days, we covered the neuroscience of emotions, we covered the theory and the background to the emotional intelligence assessments and all of that sort of technical stuff. And then we spent a lot of time working directly with and rehearsing coaching through these reports. It's a fantastic couple of days and people come away from it really buzzing. I would encourage you to go onto our site and just have a look at a couple of the videos that just show uh, snippets from some of those um, uh, certification programs. Listen, let me finish by saying that that was really kind of what's the product like? In what way is it different from other products? But let me tell you where we're different from other organizations. Now, this 
is absolutely it's 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 definitely let me let me tell you with no uh, stretch of the imagination nobody supports their partners better than we do I'm going to put up uh, an address so you can go and look at a video that will give you more detail on what I'm about to show you but let me show you five ways that once you've completed certification we help you to be successful building Genos into your business first thing we do is we give you a package of promotion materials and this is a, a 60, 90, 120 minute seminar or webinar package. You get the PowerPoint decks, you get a script, you get workbooks all ready to go so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel and figure out how to present this to people. Day after you finish certification, you can be out presenting to the Chamber of Commerce. You can be out presenting to Rotary Club meetings or anything else where you have an opportunity to be on your feet. The stuff that we give you Everything that we do in Genos is up to a very high standard of design. It's just absolutely beautiful. Second thing we give you is a complete out-of-the-box one-day training program. This is a complete training program ready to go. We're going to give you the slides, uh, the facilitator's guide, which is a script, workbooks, and exercise materials. And all of those are in Word or PowerPoint form so that you can adapt them and brand them as your own. We'll also give you a promotional brochure with the sources so that you can tailor that up and use it for promoting your own business. Now, what's even better than that, we're gonna show you how to use it. And the way we show you how to deliver that is on an online system called Genos University. Nobody has anything like this. This is an online video training facility that has information and training videos, just-in-time training videos, typically five to 10 minutes long, on our systems, our reports, on sales and marketing, and, and a number of other things. So you've got all of these little video courses in there that give you more depth and just-in-time training on every aspect of our business, how to work with the reports, how to feed them back to candidates, and how to market your Genos offering into other people. This membership is available to you. It's 24 seven and it's free once you're certified. The fourth thing we do is we enroll you on a 12 week mentoring program. And over that 12 week, yours truly comes into your email once a week saying, here are the things you need to focus on this week. I'll give you some specific to do's in a video that says do this, do that, do the other, and we'll tell you where to get the resources you need. So for the first 12 weeks, we're figuratively speaking, holding your hand. The final thing we do is we give you access to absolutely every piece of literature, every promotional brochure, every presentation that we have that we use to make our own Genos business successful via this members portal. And that sits inside Genos University. So our support for our partners, it is unrivaled. Nobody else provides this, uh, this level of support. Let me finally, before I go, tell you what have independence said about us. If you look up Daniel Goleman, who's the father of modern emotional intelligence, you'll see that he is the founder of the Consortium for Research on Emotional Intelligence and Organizations. And that organization vets people like ourselves who produce assessments and determines from a review of the technical material, the peer-reviewed research, and from the, everything that's available, whether or not the, the tool is a serious one. They only have on their site seven tools that have been approved, and ours is one of them. So we are very well regarded by uh, Daniel Goleman's uh, consortium. The other thing is the ICF, the International Coaching Federation, reviewed our science, and not only did they bless our program so that if you're a, an ICF coach, you get credits, CCUs, CCEUs, um, uh, for completing the certification, but they also made us a global business partner. To do that, they had to review our science and determine that they were happy that it was solid. So be, be assured, there's a lot of really strong background in behind that. And as if you needed anything else, let me just tell you that 1,500 people just like you have already looked at the Genos offering and have determined, yes, this is for us. Our goal working with partners is to make them highly successful. That and the science behind our first class products, which are the only ones that come with uh, package training, make us absolutely unique. So I really hope that that has helped to give you some more insight into why I would be delighted to invite you in as, an, as one of our uh, partners worldwide. Don't forget, if you have any questions whatsoever, just reach out on the email below.
So thank you for your attention over these past few minutes. Take care.